At the same time, we are strengthening once more our sanctions against the Kremlin and its collaborator, Lukashenko's regime. First, we are shutting down the EU airspace for Russians. We are proposing a prohibition on all Russian-owned, Russian-registered and Russian-controlled aircraft. These aircraft will no more be able to land in, take off or overfly the territory of the European Union. This will apply to any plane owned, chartered or otherwise controlled by a Russian legal or natural person. So let me be very clear. Our airspace will be closed to every Russian plane and that includes the private jets of oligarchs too. Second, in another unprecedented step, we will ban in the European Union the Kremlin's media machine. The state-owned Russia Today and Sputnik, as well as their subsidiaries, will no longer be able to spread their lies to justify Putin's war and to sow division in our union. So we are developing tools to ban that toxic and harmful disinformation in Europe. And third, we will target the other aggressor of this war, Lukashenko's regime. Lukashenko's regime is complicit in the vicious attack against Ukraine. So we will hit Lukashenko's regime with a new package of sanctions. We will introduce restrictive measures against their most important sectors. This will stop their exports of products from mineral fuels to tobacco, wood and timber, cement, iron and steel. We will also extend to Belarus the export restrictions we introduced on dual-use goods for Russia. This will also avoid any risk of circumvention of our measures against Russia. And in addition, we will sanction those Belarusians helping the Russian war effort. All these measures come on top of the strong package that I presented to you last night, agreed by our international partners. Under this package, important Russian ba banks will be excluded from the SWIFT system. We will also ban the transactions of Russia's central bank and freeze all its assets to prevent it from financing Putin's war. And we will target the assets of Russian oligarchs. We continue to coordinate closely with partners around the globe and we remain in close contact with our Ukrainian friends. President Zelensky's leadership and his bravery and the resilience of the Ukrainian people are outstanding and impressive. They are an inspiration for all of us.